Whales are known for being the titans of Earth, with the largest species outsizing everything else, be it land, sky, or water. Some of these giants have even been known to grow as long as three school buses, weighing more than 30 adult elephants. However, whales were not always the largest players in the waters, and over 200 million years ago, during the Triassic period, they weren't even present. But this doesn't mean there were no giants in the waters back then. In 1920, a discovery was made that confirmed whale-sized beasts were thriving during the late Triassic, and it wasn't a mammal. Rather, it was a marine reptile, the Shaunosaurus. The discovery of Shaunosaurus occurred in Nevada, where giant fossils were located in the Shosho Mountains. Yet, it would take over 30 years for paleontologists to start digging them out, all of which concluded in 1976 when Shaunosaurus popularis was finally named and described. It was recognized as being a giant streamlined animal that belonged to the order of marine reptiles known as Ichthyosaurus. This order is well known for resembling dolphins, but thanks to the sheer size of Shaunosaurus popularis, it has usually been compared to whales. At the time of discovery, Shaunosaurus popularis is recognized as being one of, if not the largest, ichthyosaur ever found, measuring around 15 meters or 49 feet in length and weighing about 25 tons. At this size, it was bigger than multiple whale species, including male humpback whales, at least from a length perspective. Despite the impressive size of Shaunosaurus popularis, it was nothing compared to a second species of Shaunosaurus that would eventually be unearthed in 2004. Shaunosaurus sicaniensis. This find came from British Columbia and shocked the world. Not only did it outclass Shaunosaurus popularis, but it was also bigger than any other marine reptile ever discovered, measuring a whopping 21 meters or 69 feet and potentially weighing 81 tons, making it larger than any mosasaur or shark to ever exist. No one doubted the monster's size, but not everyone was certain that it was a Shaunosaurus since its discovery. There has been constant debate on whether it's truly a Shaunosaurus or a Shastasaurus, a close relative. The debate stems from the similarities that Sycaniensis shares with Shastasaurus, notably a more compressed jaw. However, in 2021, a new landmark study reconfirmed that it was in fact a Shaunosaurus all along, and since then, this has been the consensus. Its classification wasn't the only area where Shaunosaurus experienced pushback. Even at its size, its claim to being the largest ichthyosaur ever wasn't set in stone. A giant ichthyosaur tooth was discovered in the Swiss Alps that was larger than any other found ichthyosaur tooth ever. However, paleontologists are not certain if this giant tooth belonged to a medium-sized ichthyosaur with massive teeth or a giant ichthyosaur with relatively medium-sized teeth, meaning that for now, Paleontologists agree that Shaunosaurus sicaniensis is the largest confirmed and named ichthyosaur species ever. At the length and weight Shaunosaurus was, it's clear that adults faced no direct threats as they were the largest animals around by a considerable margin. Although their massive sizes did come with some trade-offs, as many paleontologists believe that Shaunosaurus was a relatively slow swimmer, a trait which wasn't helped by its lack of a dorsal fin and was further coupled by its primitive half-tail fin that was vertical and pointed downward. It is thought that it would have swum side to side like a sea snake and definitely did not rely on its speed to catch prey, perhaps employing ambushes instead. Shaunosaurus also possessed a deep and wide body, albeit not as deep as originally thought, which despite further limit against speed, did allow it to dive to deeper depths. Its preference for deeper waters has also been confirmed by fossil finds, as numerous specimens have been located in areas that align with what would have been relatively deep waters during the late Triassic period. It is believed the Shaunosaurus is well adapted for deeper water so that it could have more access to its primary prey, which based upon fossilized feces, is believed to have largely consisted of fish and squid-like cephalopods known as belemnites. What's interesting is that both these prey items were small in stature, indicating to paleontologists that Shaunosaurus, like a whale, ate a massive amount of small prey to maintain its size. Paleontologists also noted that while juveniles possessed teeth, the adults seemed to be toothless, suggesting to them that as a Shaunosaurus age, its diet and eating style changed. This also led to multiple theories on how adults hunted, with some stating that it was a suction feeder, this belief of suction feeding became the consensus for many years, however, in recent times, there have been some challenges to this idea. 
Certain paleontologists claim that Shotosaurus was actually a giant bloodthirsty Leviathan that could and would hunt anything it saw. This conjecture stemmed from the identification of what seemed to be deep sockets, which indicated that Shotosaurus may have actually had rather large rooted teeth, and since this discovery, more evidence of Shotosaurus being toothy at all stages in life has been located, leading to many viewing Shotosaurus as less gentle as originally thought. Shanosaurus, being a toothy ravenous carnivore, also fits the trends seen in Triassic ichthyosaurs, as the majority of ichthyosaurs that lived during the time appear to have been equipped with sharp teeth and would hunt prey by tearing into them rather than using suction feeding. If this was truly the case for Shanosaurus, then along with its confirmed prey, it would have likely hunted larger food items, perhaps even other ichthyosaurs. Either way, it's clear that no matter what the diet actually was, both Shaunasaurus species were the top dogs of their environment, which consisted of the waters off the coast of Western Pangea, specifically what makes up North America today. These waters belong to the giant Panthalassic Ocean, which thanks to late Triassic temperatures, would have been much warmer than today's seas and oceans. It's thought that during its time, Shotosaurus would have experienced megastorms and would have roamed waterways that were surrounded by a fair amount of islands. Additionally, the Panthalassic Ocean was rich in life, giving Shotosaurus a very diverse habitat filled with all walks of life. Some of the other animals Shotosaurus coexisted with, in addition to its prey, included a variety of fish, cephalopods, sharks, sponges, brachiopods, and decapods. It swam alongside these animals over 237 million years ago and is believed to have persisted for some 10 million years. Unfortunately, however, not even the largest named marine reptile of all time can rule forever as the Jurassic period was ushered in. This being said, it's uncertain whether it evolved to a point where it was no longer Shotosaurus or some event was the cause behind its disappearance. Regardless of the cause of its disappearance, this truly was a remarkable animal.